Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or you can call me Chris and today we're going to be using and I'm sorry because I've broken the <laughs> sample jar. I dropped this on the tile floor and it broke but we're using Zingari number one in uh, Sego which is I would consider it sort of a premium uh, product. It comes in a very nice glass jar. Let me go ahead and show you a picture of how it comes and uh, that is what it looks like. It's a frosted jar which is very, very nice. Price tag on it is 35 bucks. And uh, the the scent on this was designed by Byron Perfumes. Uh, so it's got a professionally mixed and designed uh, scent. And of course, it's got the Sago soap base from Zingari, which is quite good. Um, I'll be honest, this is not my favorite sort of scent, but I will say it's really nice and I think People who are not um, opposed to rose type scents, like I don't really care for rose scents, but I would say this is probably the best rose scented um, shaving soap that I've ever smelled. Again, uh, um, I'm caveating the fact that I just don't like rose, so that's why it's not for me. So you definitely get the rose. Let me go ahead and put the scent notes up there for you so you can kind of get an idea. I definitely get the rose, but you also get those, those rounding uh, elements like the sandalwood, patchouli, uh, but you definitely get a fair amount of rose. The interesting part of it is it sort of rounds it out. So before I actually read the notes, I wasn't sure what I was smelling, but I could tell there was something floral in it. And then after I read it, oh, like, okay, it's rose. And so sometimes that happens. So if you like rose scents, uh, if you're someone who really likes it, I think this will be a winner for you without question. If you absolutely hate rose scents, then it's probably one that wouldn't be a winner for you. Um, although there is some rounding things that, that makes it, you know, I wouldn't call it a granny floral type shaving soap scent. So there you have that. And let me show you the ingredients real quick while I, actually let's talk about uh, what else we're gonna use also. We're gonna be using the PAA Switchback brush, uh, which I have a Sinbad knot in here. And the Switchback 400 actually is pretty awesome because you can, buy these ferrules or ferrules or however you say that and put knots in them. So I put this AP Shave Co. Sinbad knot in it. This is 26 millimeter. I had actually bought also a 24 millimeter cashmere and I bought the swab knot from PAA. Those two were 24, but the, the 26 I actually liked better in here. So when I get some more of these rings or ferrules, whatever you call them, I will put those knots uh, in them as well. But the 26 worked fine. I had to put a rubber band around the uh, around the fiber here and then pull it up through the bottom because it wouldn't fit from the top down. The 24 will drop right in from the top down, but there's a gap in there. So I wanted to use the 26. Anyway, if this is all aluminum. It's uh, very nicely done. And you can buy these rings of different color uh, O-rings as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, so the brush has some nice heft to it. This will be our first use with this. I've never used this brush before, so I'm looking forward to it. We have our Captain's Choice Copper Bowl, which is my favorite bowl. And so I'm gonna wet our knot here and just start loading my brush with the Zingari number one. And I got this number one sample um, when I made an order for the Healers and Essentials shaving soap, which I really like the scents on both of those. So, so far on Zingari scents, I have really liked their scents. This is the only one so far I've tried and it's like the maybe sixth one, that's really not for me, you know. I do think, however, if you're a Rose fan, this is gonna be an absolute winner for you. Uh, if you hate it, maybe not, but you know, uh, give it a shot if you're interested. It is a premium offering, it comes in a very nice package and, and so on. And that I think that's the way, honestly, if you're going to charge $35 for a soap, it needs to be special, because that is premium price. We're seeing some soaps get close to that without premium packaging, and so, I think Heather Melton of Zingari has, has done well with that. Once soaps get that expensive, there's gotta be something special about it. And so she's had a professionally blended fragrance and good packaging to go, go along with it. So I think that's, that's the way it should be done. If it's going to be premium, it should be premium. It shouldn't be just 30, 35 bucks for a regular old soap, you know. Or at least that's my thinking on it. Anyway, you look like we've got a good, <clears throat> load here actually so let's set this down for a minute 
and wet the dome here. We're gonna be uh, shaving the head today with our usual suspect, the leaf razor. There are Persona red blades in there. Third use, which is probably the final use on those blades. And I hope everyone uh, is having a great day. I don't know what day I'll post this because I have some videos already shot. And so this could be, you know, I don't know when it will go up. So I don't wanna talk about what day it is because by the time this is posted, you know, uh, it might be several days. So anyway, I hope you're having a great day whatever day it is. One of the things I want to mention is uh, the Rich Man Shaving Group, Shaving Group, I should say, not Shavings Group, on Facebook. Really nice, enthusiastic people in that group. And there was uh, uh, Sammy uh, Charmer of, uh, of the Charmers family, created a YouTube channel, and it's called uh, Shave Girl. And anyway, I had just announced her channel and said, hey guys, you know, can we get her to 100 subs, you know, really quickly. And by the time the day was out or the night was out, there was 125. So thank you, Rich Man, Rich Man Shaving Group. And of course, um, that group was created by uh, Shaving with Rich, which is another YouTube channel you can check out. I don't know him well, but he seems like an awfully nice guy. And there's there's people in there like Melly Mel, you know, Tim Delaney, The Scented Soldier, many, many others, many, many, many others. They do more live videos in that group than any group I've ever <laughs> seen. There's constantly somebody going live. So it's a pretty cool group, very enthusiastic, no fuss or muss. So if you're looking uh, for a group that's just shaving oriented without a lot of um, other stuff going on and people are just positive and encouraging, that's a, that's a good one that uh, I would recommend you check out. Okay, let us get going here with the leaf. And I saw a video the other day, Chris Madden or Maiden. I keep calling him Madden, but it's Maiden. I've actually never known anybody before with the last name Maiden. Um, in the United States, most people with a name like that, it's M-A-D-D-E-N and it's Madden. And so that's why I always call him Madden. But I'm told it is maiden, so we'll try, we're try, <laughs> trying to get it right. Anyhow, so <clears throat> he was doing a, a video on the Leaf unboxing. It is his preferred head shaving razor. And honestly, I never thought to use the, the Leaf on my head until I saw him using it. And then I said, you know what? It pivots. That makes sense. It's got multiple blades like a cart. That makes sense. Because honestly, I always used to use the Harry's and Defender razor uh, on my head because regular DE razors, just too difficult, uh, pain to use. Their, their, their angle of attack is different. This one lays flatter like a card. It's just easier to use. And so I started using the leaf based on his recommendation and he was right. You know, I believe in giving credit where credit is due. And when you see someone with an idea or you see someone really evangelizing for something and they're passionate about it, I like to give it a shot. And so I gave it a go and there has not been no turning back since. This is the, absolutely the closest thing to a cart razor without it being a cart razor. So you're still using half DE blades and I really like it. And it, it does require some getting used to. There is a learning curve. However, it's not nearly the learning curve that going from carts to regular DE uh, razors is. And I find that this is a much smoother option. The pivot helps a tremendous amount. People poo-poo the pivot in the traditional uh, community, but they should not. It actually helps a lot on the dome because there are so many curves and contours and that razor stays in contact with your head because of that pivot. Whereas with a DE, you're having to adjust your wrist and it's not always, quite frankly, it's not always as good as these pivots. The pivot does it for you. And so it makes it like a cart, but it is not a cart. So I always want to emphasize when I'm uh, talking about this, that this will cut you if you if you get too vigorous with it, just like any razor will, you know, you can cut yourself with a cart, but you cut yourself far easier with the regular traditional DE razor has been my experience. Um, this one is more like a cart, so you can get away with a little more, but 
do not think that you can just be completely cavalier with it. You still have to pay attention. You still have to make sure you're, you know, uh, focused. But you, you don't need the laser-like focus that you need with a DE or a Chevette on your head. This razor just works terrific. And that, um, that pivot, it really, really helps. Now let's talk a little bit about the soap. The soap is performing uh, wonderfully. The Sago base is a very good uh, soap base. And that, you know, is really not a surprise to anyone now that has tried Zingari. As I've said, I have uh, liked most of her uh, scents. And I find, this is a soft soap, by the way. So if you're wondering what sort of um, uh, consistency the soap is, it is very soft. So you don't need to really go, if you load from the puck, which I do not typically, you don't need to go hard. You just take it easy. You know, you don't need to really mash the brush in there because this is a soft soap base. And I, I rather like that. Um, I just think it's easier. I What I use to, uh, let me show you here. I use a cosmetic spatula like this, typically when I have a soap tub. And with Zingara, you just have to lightly sort of go around the top surface and it'll pick up that soft soap very, very easily with not much effort. I transfer it to my Captain's Choice bowl. And then, you know, I either load the brush that way or make a bowl lather or whatever you want to do. You can do it exactly however you want to, but uh, it's really nice. Really nice quality soap. Uh, and it comes at a, you know, fair price. It's not crazy expensive. You know, it's, it's pricier than some, but it's not, you know, that $5 plus, you know, where things start getting very expensive. Now, this particular one is a premium soap, so it is more expensive, but her regular offerings are reasonable for the quality you get, I feel. And by the way, I love this uh, Sinbad knot from AP Shave Co. They sell a lot of brushes and knots that I like. I bought several knots. Also bought the um, the Silk Smoke. This is 20, 28 millimeters. It will not fit. So at some point I'll get a handle that <laughs> that I can put that uh, brush in. Let's add a little bit of water here. All right. And I don't care really on this head shave um, how the lather looks. I know it's going to work. So... <laughs> That's really nice. And I like that switch, by the way, the switch, that PAA switch. It's like uh, 35 bucks. Is that what it is? $34.95 when they are in stock. They are not in stock as of the day I'm shooting this video. So you can look at the date when it was posted and they're not in stock, but he will probably be getting more because they sold out rather quickly last time. Um, people seem to enjoy putting their own knots in the brush. And it is pretty cool to, to put your own knot in. It's not difficult. You know, you just get some epoxy and actually he has a video on the, on YouTube on how to, you know, make sure to, to glue the knot in properly. And, uh, there's plenty of videos on how to set knots, you know, on YouTube. So just watch those. It's not really difficult if you've never done it. I did this and it only took, took a few minutes. Um, so if you were interested in getting one of those, you know, sort of keep your eye out on, uh, PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, for when they have more in stock. I'll put a link to it below, although it is sold out, so just keep that in mind. I'm just putting that there for reference so you can read about it if you are interested. It's a nice uh, brush. I like these uh, brushes with the longer handles. Uh, more and more, I'm liking them like that. And so, brush makers, if you can make more <laughs> brushes with these longer handle. I find them very helpful. I do not like a longer handle on the razor with the exception of the leaf for shaving the dome. Uh, regular DE razors that I shave my face with, I don't really like long handles. I like them around three inches, but with the leaf, I do appreciate this longer handle for head shaving because you really do have to reach around to areas that are a little, little farther away. So that sort of helps. I uh, hope everyone, again, is doing well with the corona. I hope we're winding down from that. Um, you know, I'm hopeful. In the United States here, we've lost well over 50,000 people. I haven't checked. But by the time this airs, it's probably 55 or more thousand people, which is just, you know, extremely significant loss of life. And I hope and pray that you're not touched by this virus. 
Um, I know many members of the community have been, and we we will hope that that uh, you won't be, and that you'll you know you and your family remain safe and healthy. Uh, this is a wonderful wonderful community that we have, and I find that there is unprecedented cooperation and support for each other, and that is absolutely terrific. I mean. I have really enjoyed it. And so I want to thank everybody who has been participating, watching these videos, and just being supportive of not only me, but the entire community, the artisans, you know, the folks who post in the groups on Instagram, Facebook, um, you know, YouTube, watching the live videos, just, just trying to bring some light, you know, in a kind of a dark time. So I thank truly each and every one of you. And I wanna I ask you a question, please. How many of you watching this video are head shavers? Please comment below if you're a head shaver and tell me what your preferred razor for, for uh, head shaving is. I would like to know. Okay. Looks like we're almost finished. There's always a few areas. Um, let me show you again. This is sort of a Nick Shaves technique, or at least he was the first one I saw doing this. I don't know if he created it, but you take your other hand you're not shaving with, just pull some lather out of your knot, like so, and just feel around for pickups. And that way you can feel them easy. And then you're applying lather to those spots as you're going around so you can just get them. And this right here is a very tough spot for me. I have to really work at getting it. And we continue to feel around, just pick up any spots that we might have missed or just needs a little more work and how do we do still feeling a little bit right here that is the most stubborn spot and i have to come at it from that angle Let's see if that does any good anyway you see how that pivot keeps that razor in place really nicely hugs the those curves and contours that's why the leaf is an excellent razor i feel for head shaving so I would say Chris Madden is absolutely correct. He has converted me. And again, we give credit where credit is due. When somebody brings an excellent product to my awareness, I like to give credit. And so that is fantastic. All right. Excellent head shave. Stay tuned. We will rinse off and come back for the post. And all right, we're back with our Lancaster Razor Works towel, which is fantastic. You see me talking about it most days. And it just wicks that moisture right off. You don't have to rub, you know, especially if you've got irritated skin, you don't want to be rubbing and twisting and all that kind of stuff. I rarely have irritated skin, but for those of you who have sensitive skin, just pat and this will wick the moisture right off. Your, uh, Lancaster Razor Works, it's called the Black Sheep uh, Shaving Towel and it is excellent. Okay, let's talk about what we use today, but first, Humphreys. Now, some people mentioned, I think in a live video, that they don't use uh, witch hazel because they don't see any benefit. Let me tell you, the re one of the reasons I use it is because this is an astringent, so it also helps. If there's any of that leftover soap or anything I miss, it'll sort of help, you know, keep that at bay and remove it. You don't want to have a bunch of dried up soap left on you, so we apply it for that reason. And then there's aloe and all sorts of other good stuff, and witch hazel is just good for my skin. So that's why I use it. Okay, we use the Zingari Man number one. If you are a fan of rose scents, this is one you're probably gonna want. If you hate rose scents, it's probably one to avoid or try to get a sample and see if you like it or not. Uh, if you're sorta of in the middle, you might like it. Uh, very, very good quality soap. Um, you can tell the fragrance is very professional. Uh, it just comes together really nicely if you like rose scents. So check it out if you want to at Zingari. We use the PAA Switchback 400 with Sinbad, uh, AP Shape Co. Sinbad knot. Absolutely terrific. I love that brush. That's the first time I've used it because I just put the knot in it a few days ago. We use the usual suspect, the Leaf, which is in my opinion the best head shaving razor uh, on the planet. At least it is for me because it that pivot is extremely helpful. You have your multiple blades. That hair is really tough on your head. Uh, you don't realize when it's it's strong and it's, you know, when it's coming out, it's quite tough and abrasive. 
and this just mows through it and it sort of gives you the feeling of more security and safety of a cart without it being a cart. Now it's not a car, but it does a great job. So check out Leaf if you are interested. And we're gonna finish off with one of my favorite aftershaves. This is Floyd Black out of Spain. Tremendous classic scent in my view. It's just an absolute winner for me. I, I have a whole nother bottle um, on standby because this is a scent Honestly, I never want to be without. Um, I'll, I'll put a link below if it's still available on Amazon. Really, really nice classic. Think of a, a throwback classic cologne type scent. Floyd Black, absolutely terrific. One of my favorites. Okay. Want to thank everybody for joining us once again. I hope you stay safe and healthy. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and God bless.